Hello viewers, welcome to Mojo for Industry. Hectronic India is a leader in fuel management solutions, serving industries with cutting-edge technology tailored to streamline operation. We were recently at IMME 2024 where Hectronic India showcased a range of innovative products for the mining sector. In this video, watch as Hectronic India's representatives walk us through their solutions for fuel and lubrication management. Designed to optimize resources and boost efficiency for mining operations. Uh, uh, hello, I am Shwetank. I am a zonal manager and customer success manager for Hectronic India. And uh, today we are here in the MME Expo to showcase some new technologies. Already we are into fuel management for many years and we have various stages of automation. But today we will showcase our lubrication management system. Lubrication, this is the new thing what we have launched in this. Uh, expo and uh, this is the setup what we provide as we know uh, we have been managing HSD from over 60 years for different consumer sector but the lubrication is also one of the cost of the consumers which was a pain area and which uh, uh, which Hectronic has taken a leap to address that issue and we integrate this lubrication bay to the software and we have the complete setup and the, the benefit of this system is that Whatever the view you are using for your uh, uh, management of your dumpers and your excavators in the lubrication bay area will be recorded directly to the software. So we have an authorization for each vehicle, whatever the lubrication you are using, the different grade of lubrication which is used in the mining industry. And for that, we have this setup. This is our main terminal which we use for the integration with the automation. This kind of setup also we can provide if you don't have this setup. We can complete provide this nozzle, hose, flow meter with the pneumatic setup and with the also with the tank. And if you already have this setup with you, we can integrate this setup with our automation terminal. And whatever the lubrication you are using at the bay and for a different vehicles, it will be authorized to our terminal and the data will be seamlessly transferred to the software. So this is what we uh, provide in our lubrication management system. You all must be knowing about uh, uh, fueling uh, in the vehicles in uh, uh, mining. So the vehicles don't come to the site, uh, come to your uh, station for the fueling. So for that, we are, we have introduced our Bowser solution. Uh, it just uh, mounted on your Bowser. It will go to your uh, um, site and it will be doing your fueling work. And the complete uh, the complete data gets uh, uh, transferred from this device to uh, your server. You can see our flow meter. These are very premium flow meters, which are uh, specially designed for the mines application. Uh, quite highly rugged system, uh, which has a very high durability. For which uh, it has a, a life. Uh, we have a lifespan of 15 years, minimum 15 years, as we can say. This is our northern reader through which we do the fueling work like uh, to the vehicle. Our slogan is your no authorization, no fueling. So uh, it will read your tag readers. Then it will start start fueling. If there is no tag, then it will not do fueling. So uh, we are also using this low meter for decantation management. In a phase wise manner, most of the industry is now moving towards going ahead in terms of sustainability and in terms of energy transition. They are slowly but surely shifting to EV vehicles which are being supplied by the biggies of the industries like Sani, like uh, Volvo, like Liu Gong. All these people are now very much interested and in expanding in having EV vehicles in the mining segment as well as the construction segment. Actually, being one of the leading companies in the market, Having a solution for complete, uh, having a, being a centralized platform for connecting all the terminals to the various equipment. So that is the thing which is going to be new into the market. And lot of people this year have actually kind of genuinely expressed interest in this. They have asked for presentations. We were able to explain a lot of these options particularly the ones with the touch screen particularly the ones with even having the facility of an integrated payment module in it so entire solution with respect to the EV infrastructure which is happening as a revolution in India this is the space where we can exist and excel with our hectone 
so naturally the fuel starts off from the decantation side goes into the powder and finally it goes into typically into hmms what now the customer wants is actually the vehicle should have inbuilt sensors so here in we are introducing capacitance based sensors which go and are inserted into the tank of the vehicle along with that it works on bluetooth technology bne5 and communicates with this 4g devices and addition to the 4g devices having the capability to have the intelligence to talk with this sensor the device also helps the customer in understanding the utility usage of the vehicle in terms of the kilometers run in terms of the asset quality in terms of the distance covered now introduce konjima who will take you through deeper through the analytics which we are giving to the customer so this is the vehicle dashboard we can see that we give the ignition uh, status we have win status and percentage of fuel how much fuel is remaining in the tank and uh, the exact location the vehicle is at right now and on the tank capacity is also and the last data we see on a minute in minute basis this is giving you the entire day to day basis where transaction uh, activity status of each and every mine of each and every station of each and every bowser like how in decantation how many top loading how many transaction uh, and dispensing is happening on day to day basis you can get this very idea from this report they go to this uh, fuel and flow chart where we can get this very idea from exactly which is the source of the fuel from which part from which station is coming to which station and then which station from this station It's coming to which bowser, and then this bowser with uh, fuel is being flown to which vehicle. This very odd, very idea. We can get this from fuel chart. Then we'll come to this uh, chart for the showing you uh, the engine hours, day to day basis on day to day basis. What is the engine hours and each and every vehicle? Like uh, how much could a pretty they have? Uh, they are as an uh, in depth analysis for each and every vehicle. Like uh, you want to see uh, on what basis, on daily basis, what kind of fuel consumption, what. How many uh, kilometers the, it has covered, and now what is the machine utilization? What is the fuel efficiency? You can get all these parameters in this uh, particular dashboard. So, and then it comes to this fuel train part. So, basically, whatever date he has selected, it will just show you the entire fuel train that can go on and get on every minute. What is the fuel consumption structure? Like fuel is going up or down. Uh, how much fuel consumption it is go going on there? So all all kind of ideas you can get from this chart. Okay. Next, coming to this uh, consumption reports. As uh, so, this is basically totally dedicated for fuel consumption. Like uh, it's given on uh, each and every day and on shift basis. Like uh, what is the total fuel consumption for each and every vehicle? And what is the total refill amount? What is the appeasement? As in uh, the uh, this appeasement amount captured from fuel sensor. All these kind of ideas you can get from this particular report. So next, coming to this state, uh, this uh, particular report isn't giving you an idea of the idling part of the vehicle, like how much time it has been on idling the state, right? The fuel uh, is totally uh, going on, but the vehicle is totally stopped, and the engine is totally on. So that kind of uh, position, you want to definitely, uh, you know, uh, report to your manager that that the vehicle is stopped and the in battery is not getting here. So that particular idea you can get from this and the and Mrs. report. Let's uh, go to the next report, which is the tallying report between uh, the decantation of uh, between the is transaction and the fuel sensor. Like how many uh, how many fuel are being transacted from one vehicle to one vehicle, and whether this has been captured from the fuel sensor or not. This is to be a tallying report for that. Then we come to this Bowser report, Bowser audit report. So like how many fuel is uh, getting. Top loaded into this particular bowser. How many fuel is getting uh, dispensed from this bowser? We can get this idea from this very report. Then we are coming to this particular live dashboard where we are getting the total count of live vehicle sensors, live vehicle bowsers, live electronic terminals. How many are there? Like live DV operators, total decanted, uh, total top loaded, total kind of inventory for fuel volume that are uh, that kind of going on there in the mine. Yeah, this for this machines like how many engine hours it has been running on. Like how? What is the total ignition hours? What is the total idle hours? What is the total movement hours? What is the total stop hours? We can get all this idea from this particular live dashboard. Then we come to this uh, particular analysis broken down on hourly basis. Like this is the speed analysis of each and every vehicle. Like on what point, at what hour, at what minute, 
the what what was the status of the vehicle like whether it was stop whether it was running whether it was moving or not whether the fuel was being consumed or not when the ignition was on or not but yes and this the very enriched fuel plant that we had built so we had collected uh, this uh, fuel resources data and this transaction data we had combined together in this one particular report this is the kind of dashboard where you uh, get an idea like what is the quality of your data like on uh, at which hour how many observation of points we are receiving for each and every vehicle like this is the the vehicle sir it's a gps count like how many uh, track from tracker we receive this data we receive this observation what is the count of observation on each and every hour that we can uh, get this idea from this report Thank you for joining us on this exclusive tour at Hectronic India's innovations for the mining industry. From fuel management to real-time data insights, their solutions are setting a new standard for efficiency and sustainability. Keep following Mojo for Industry for more updates on the latest technology shaping the future of industrial operations. See you in the next video. Hello, friends. If you enjoyed watching this video please like comment share and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content